All right, y'all, what's going on? Let's uh, take up, take up, take up where we left off. Okay, so uh, the van. Uh, I had the transmission problems. Uh, they uh, replaced the fluids in the filter and put in some Lucas and handed it to me saying, you need a new transmission, dude. Uh, and I said, I ain't got that kind of cash. So this is what it is. And uh, it, it grabbed gears. Uh, if you saw the other video, or if you didn't see the other video, uh, just all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this thing stopped finding any forward gears. Uh, and I had the transmission and the transmission fluid and the uh, filter replaced probably 30,000 miles ago. Um, maybe two or three months ago and uh, boom this happens uh, I got it to a shop uh, you go back and watch the other video it'll catch you up a little bit but here's the deal uh, basically you know there's a lot of people that just think you can just buy a van and jump into this and I knew you couldn't do, just do that. I, I, you know, I did my research. I talked to a bunch of really smart people that know what they're doing in this business. Uh, Alan Paxton, uh, uh, Tim Expedites, uh, uh, Crafty Truckers. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm missing a, a whole bunch. Eric Redden, uh, uh, a whole bunch of people that know what they're doing. But uh, the reality is, is that I, I suck at saving money. And as many videos as I put out there about, you know, uh, you got to have this run fund. You got to have this maintenance fund. Yeah, you do. You also got to stick with it. And uh, I had it for the last problem when my, my uh, uh, fuel pump went out cost me close to a thousand dollars down in uh, uh what's that brownsville texas uh i had it then you know now my transmission is going out and uh not is has and uh that's that's a two thousand dollar fix so in a nutshell if you watched the previous video then uh they put all that stuff in there. They put the, the they replace the fluid, the filter, and put in some Lucas. Uh, next day, I was able to run, and you know I'm trying to get to where I'm going, which I'll explain in a minute. This might be a long video. I'm rambling. I'm a rambling man. But uh, I got on the freeway and ran fine. Uh, had to pull over and get some fuel, and from there. After it was all heated up, it started having issues jumping in the gear. Uh, and I lost high gear. So at uh, 70 miles an hour, I was pushing, what was it? Uh, I want to say 2,400 RPM. Where normally at about 70, I'm only pushing 1,800 RPM and getting about 20 uh, miles to the gallon. Uh, once I lost the high gear, I was pushing, uh, I'm going to say 2,400 RPM and maybe 15 miles a gallon. I was like, all right, well, you know, it sucks, but I'll make it. Oof, I was wrong. Uh, as I started getting closer and I had to, uh, take an exit to get on a smaller, uh, highway and there was a stop. Once I stopped... This transmission just said, ha, 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 got you, motherfucker. And, uh, boom. Uh, now I have one gear. Uh, and I'm guessing, this is a six-speed, I'm guessing it's about fourth gear. Because uh, I get up to 50 miles an hour, and I'm at 3,000 RPM. Uh, to get in the gear when I take off from a stop, uh, at first, it doesn't it doesn't see the gear, but then it it grabs with with uh, some gas with some RPM, and then it's like 
yeah, I'm starting out in fourth gear. Like if you're in your car and you put it in fourth gear, you got to like, it's really slow. Uh, so I knew that wasn't going to last that long. And I'm about 200 miles out from uh, Troy, Michigan, which is where I'm trying to get to. And I had to stop uh, hoping that tomorrow morning after this is cold, I'll be able to grab the gears again. And then a buddy of mine um, told me about this other additive. Since I was staying at a Walmart that I could get at Walmart. Don't remember what he said because it's on a, an app that I have to listen to. And I'm on the phone right now. So, either way, I'm going to put two bottles of that in the transmission tomorrow. And I don't care if it trashes the transmission because the transmission's already trashed. Uh, but I just have to get 200 more miles. And here's the deal. In a nutshell, you want to get into this business as an owner-operator. Uh, first off, you have to be able to uh, handle your money right. You have to do a little bit more research than going, oh, I can do that. I can drive. There's a little bit more to it than that. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm hoping that this next step that I'm taking, which is I'm going to be driving for somebody else now uh this van is going to be put in storage until i have the money to replace the transmission it just is what it is i mean there's no there's no options there so uh this dude that i'm going to be running for uh i'm going to be driving a uh 2006 dodge sprinter uh diesel 2.2.4 2 liter five cylinder motor i think it was uh, but, uh, I've ran for this dude for a while. I have mad trust in him. He's cool as fuck. I mean, this dude's cool. And, uh, I just feel a connection there that I, I wouldn't, I would have a real problem just going with anybody without knowing him, uh, to drive for them. Uh, but I'm, I'm super comfortable driving for him. So, uh, I'm trying to get there. And I'm going to have to run in his in his van. And like I said, it's a sprinter. So I'm s totally stoked about being able to stand up. About being able to actually sleep and stretch out. Because, uh, you know, I, I don't consider it a big guy. But I'm 6'2". So in here, I have to sleep all curled up. Um, so I'm stoked about that. But... Uh, I feel a little bit like a failure because I couldn't manage my business. Uh, I'm going to let that go because I've never tried to manage a business before. I've never known how to. I've never researched how to. And I've always sucked at money management. So this is what I'm going to do for now. And it's a 60-40 split. I'm driving his van. Uh, he gets 60% of the entire bill. I get 40%. The cool thing is, for somebody that sucks at saving money, is that 40% what I get paid for? That's mine. Like, what I'm doing now, I get paid my whatever, and that nut, okay, there's, I've got to pay the gas that I've already paid. I've got to pay the, the van payment. i got to pay the insurance. i got to pay, you know, all this shit. And I don't, that's what messed me up. I, I you know, I would get a, a, a paycheck of, or a deposit of $1,000. and was like, yeah, I made $1,000 on this run. No, not really. Because there was gas for that entire run. Whatever maintenance, whatever payments. That's the part I need to, uh, ooh, big word, conceptualize. I don't even know if that was the right word, but uh, that's where I need to learn. And I'm hoping Matt uh, will teach me some of that because he's running a successful business and he's a cool dude. Uh, so that's a gig, y'all. I'm going to be driving for somebody else. The next video you see, possibly, I might make another video between here and there because who knows if this is even going to fucking move tomorrow. Um... But I will be in a sprinter, 
and that's a gig so for all you looking for an update this is it uh from a wife that said don't make no drunken videos tonight i'm not i'm good all is awesome it's cold as shit here where am i at um oh you're on my phone the last i looked it's 20 degrees 21 degrees here right now it's supposed to drop down to 19 the coldest i've ever been or the coldest uh that i've seen while in the van uh <laughs> and god damn it i need a buddy heater a <laughs> big time uh but I'll make do. It's what I do. It's the gig I chose. You know what? Through all of this shit, I freaking love it. I love being out here. Uh, I'm not letting this get to me because it's going to work out however it works out. And stressing it is not going to change any of the outcome. So I'm just rolling with it, doing the best I can, and uh, trusting in people that I feel I can trust in and uh it's awesome so y'all take it easy and uh don't think you can just buy a van and go expedite it's a whole nother world uh it's awesome if this is what you dig but it could suck if it's not y'all take it easy and uh bye